What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is staying clean and staying safe. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a, well tonight, I'm going to be doing a Q&A since uh, there's not much to record and I always wanted to do a Q&A for you guys. I always wanted to do a Q&A for you guys. Um, I think I've made one when I first started this channel and it was pretty, pretty bunk and um, not really helpful because I did ask you guys and that was before I had uh, at least like 3,100 um, subscribers but um, anyways yeah uh, I did ask you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and uh, you a lot of you guys did ask me a lot of questions and I will answer them all tonight in this video so before I get this video started I just want to let you guys know that our stickers are still in stock uh, Dallas has the other one this one is the camber is a lifestyle and then uh, Hoffman has uh, Drifting as a Lifestyle. So head to the website and go get your slaps right now. Um, right now we are still sending out um, all our stickers on time. Uh, the first batch already got sent out before the quarantine. And then the last batch got sent out probably a couple days ago. But um, thank you guys for all your love and support. So before I get this video started, I also want to add on top that we do have these hoodies in stock. But um, these are just a little teaser and uh, if you guys are interested please DM the Icy Boys uh, Instagram and see oh, I just want to see how many of you guys are interested it's just the regular one it's just like a t-shirt but it's the hoodie and the back has establishment by 12 so just DM us on uh, Icy Boys and just want to see how many of you guys want this jacket or this hoodie but before we get started this is gonna be a little drink and answer your questions with Josh. So I'm pretty sure these are twists. And pretty sure this is how you guys do it, right? Get out one knee. I'm not really a good chugger, so. Wow. Ew. This Marinoff is disgusting. I'm more of a Heineken guy, but anyways, let's get these questions started. I'm gonna get these questions pulled up. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in order and answer you guys' questions. Um, hold up. Oh, son of a gun, I have to go back and find it. So the first question on uh, the Q&A is from Matt Steezy underscore. At what age did you get into drifting? So I got into drifting probably three three years ago when uh, actually when Dallas got into it. I was into it um, like right after him, I would say, because um, it started like when uh, me and Dallas used to go to every meet, every show with our cars, and he only had the IS at the time, and he was it was stance the fuck out, and um, so we were just doing that, and then just one day he was tired of buying tires, and um, what else? Oh, and he was just like, like, what's the fun of it, just spending money just by driving? But he did like the stand scene at the time. Um, and after that, he actually was like looking into like drifting videos and drifting, and he wanted to have fun with his car. So he started dr drifting his car. Um, oh, we a manual swapped it first, actually. And then that's when we started drifting. And that's when I, I was actually uh, in his car with a ride along and he was drifting that shit was it was it was just fun and then uh, my first event I actually um, actually my first event was at Adams and it was my car was automatic at the time uh, my one of my first IS 300s because I bet I had six IS 300s dude that spear knob got me because I did not eat all day but uh <laughs> so the first event was Adams it was it was stupid as fuck I didn't even know how to drift and my car was automatic so, so was Dallas's, and um, I think it was. But anyways, then my first, my second event, which was the first event at Grange, I, if you guys seen the video, I had the MR2, and I, I was doing good drifting. And then the last lap, uh, I ran out of tires, so then I put on my tires that I, I was gonna go home with. And uh, one of my buddies said he wanted to do a time attack or like, kind of like racing each other, you know, like 
I don't know, it was stupid as fuck. And then we were racing, I wasn't even drifting. I was racing and then I, I think it's over, understeer? No, oversteer. And I ran into the fence and that was first, the second uh, event and I hit the fence and broke it. But um, if you guys don't know, uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up here. So this is from one of my, my bu good buddies that uh, we met through buying uh, Hoffman's, uh, no, it was buying um, Gus's uh, 1J. Uh, this is Mellow.FG3. The motor that Mellow FG3 sold you guys at JDM West Coast, how did it turn out? It turned out super good. The motors are great. Go check them out because uh, Dallas and Hoffman, wait, Dallas and Hoffman. <laughs> this nerd off got me. Dallas and Gus got it. Got it at JDM West Coast, and they were they were good. They were good, and I was supposed to get mine, but they're still bagging on me for not getting it yet. So soon, soon. So I got another one. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna drink it after. Let's say three more questions. So um, right here. So Wave got underscore four oh one. What was your dream job growing up, and did you fulfill your dream? My dream job was uh, to be, I had two. I always wanted to be a cop. I wanted to protect and serve, and I actually wanted, I really wanted to, but my health, um, just personal problems, I can't, I can't get to it. So that was one, one reason why. And then I always wanted to be an actor. I don't know why, I just always wanted to be an actor and just be on my, on the screen, you know? I was good behind the camera, but like, I don't know, I just, back then when I was a kid, like around like 13, 14, I was super good at acting. I had this like church stuff, like we would always have to act and do skits and stuff, and I was super good at it. I actually won, won a couple awards through my church and like other other clubs and stuff. So if you guys didn't know about that, I was, I was pretty good at acting, and I was the drama king. <laughs> Next question is from RAF Cena. Raf Cena. Would you manual swap my IS or get the IS, get the car looking right before the swap? <laughs> would 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 I? Um, I I don't know. That's your car, so I don't know. Um, I would probably. I don't know. I think I would swap my car if it was automatic to manual before I started doing the looks you know like i mean either way if you do both of them one or the other and still get the other one done would it be a difference there wouldn't be really a big difference or like i don't know it's up to you do you want to be shifting before you, your car looks good or do you want to look make your car look good and then shift you know <laughs> i don't know and um so the next question is benji benji made 919 Engine, engine mods and pools. I don't got engine mods. You can ask Dallas. <laughs> I really don't. A dot E Kaz. I hate you, Alex. A Kaz is one of the homies. He said, what inspired you to be so gay? Asphalt FRS, one of my good coworkers. Um, next track day, bro. Um, when this quarantine's over, we were supposed to actually go to a track day on in May. Um, it's not looking like it, and my birthday's coming up in, on May 9th, I was about to do something big, but this quarantine's still going on, and I'm pretty sure it's going to go on for a few more months, uh, to be honest, but next track day, whenever we can, because all the homies got, finally got their cars done, and um, they actually went drifting at Adams like before this whole quarantine thing, and um, yeah, we need to get back to uh, the track at Grange, but soon, soon. Next person is Kyler Huynh, so it's one of our other homies. Since you a gong gak, how many gaks would a gong gak gak if a gong gak? <laughs> oh, I hate Vietnamese people. <laughs> God damn. Oh, 
I did a little bit better. This shit's too cold. probably a long time so I'm pretty buzzed. <laughs> I used to drink all the time and it was bad so I kind of stopped. Um, actually no, I'm not going to say it. I was going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Next question by sent from basic.forester. Something that people always mis uh, misunderstood about you. Ah. Uh, what did someone misunderstand? I don't know. I would have to think about that. Well, to be honest, um, I don't really know something that someone always, or a person has misunderstood about me, but uh, I have some like, I have my good days and my bad days. And I have people that love me for who I am and I have people that don't love me for who I am. But uh, it's cool because at the end of the day, if you're not yourself, um, you really don't know who your real friends are unless you are yourself, right? Because if people hate you for who you are, then those people, you shouldn't be friends with that, pe that person, right? And um, something that people un always misunderstood about you. That's a good question because I, I really don't know. Um, Cause if someone misunderstood something about me, oh fucking no, I'm I'm pretty buzzed. Um, MJ dot pad padilla zero zero one. Sorry if I get your guys' uh, Instagrams wrong because uh, yeah, guys I can't read. <laughs> but uh, he says or she he he first mod on the Lexus. To be honest, my first mod was it was forty five. No, I think it's, it was 42 wood tax. Uh, 42 bucks. It was my grill, my Alteza replica grill. Yeah, my rep grill that I still have, the black one with the red emblem. I That is my first mod I have ever done on my IS. And that grill has been passed on to all six of my ISs. I got it when I first got the IS. So the story is, um, my first IS, was um was a o o two it was actually my dad's and he gave it to me because um my previous car was s two thousand and we sold it to a friend and I just gave him all the money and he just passed down the i s to me and I really didn't like the i s i mean s two k to the i s three hundred you're just like what the fuck is this and it was an auto too so I was kind of like ticked off about that but that was my first mod about first mod on the eyes um, it was the grill yeah the replica of the grill <laughs> um, second second question or the next question why are you so, so gay by Andy DeBamp fuck you Andy I hate you <laughs> next question is where you at death Jesus Christ y'all names are, are kind of dark let's link I want to do a photo shoot with the icy boys Alright, let's link after this quarantine. A lot of people want to be link linking up and everything, but y'all, we all infected or something, but yeah, we, we're definitely going to meet up soon. We definitely need another meet, like honestly, um, I, I, we, we need to get out, like we've been sitting around doing nothing, honestly. I've been sitting around doing orders, streaming, oh yeah, if you guys, if you guys uh, watch uh, streamers or on Twitch or whatever, um, go follow me on uh, Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Hey Girl is Josh. Um, I actually play pretty late. I usually start streaming right now, actually, like 11 to 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. But or 12 or later. But yeah, follow my stream. Next question is Jacob with two B's Walker. How much would you sell your wagon for? Honest to God, I know I won't get the price out. Uh, I won't get what I like paid for it and what it's worth. And honestly, the wagon's probably not, like, worth a lot. But I see people be posting up their wagons for, like, 8, 9K. But honest, honestly, I do not want to sell my car. But 
if someone were to come up to me with 16 or 15 G's, I would sell it. But I only say that because I know I won't get that and because I, I don't want to sell it. Because that thing, I love that thing. That wagon has changed my life. Honestly, I love it. But, yeah. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. La da da da, la da da da, la da da da. Told you, Hanukkah man. <clears throat> Next question. Next question. Steezy underscore is two hundred T. This is the homie. He's always been supporting us from day one. What are the plans for the net for the wagon next? And what made you paint the sedan yellow? So first question that he asked was what are the plans for the wagon? The plan for the wagon is to get two new tires in the front so I can actually drive it because right now I can't fit it. Um, well, well it fits but like I can't drive comfortably because uh, the tires rub up the ass and it's it's ridiculous. It's like so much camber and the tires are fat. Uh, in the front I'm riding 225-35 so um, me and Gus and Dallas were actually talking about it. Um, I'm gonna go probably 215-35 uh, in the front um, because yeah it's not fitting and it, it's on a 10 so hopefully yeah hopefully it doesn't beat or anything but I haven't gotten I haven't had the time to buy tires or get an alignment. I need alignment for both my cars, but this quarantine got me fucked up. And I'm not about to drive all the way to 714 because those are the only people I trust for my alignment. And the question, the second question is, what made me paint the sedan yellow? So to be honest, I always wanted a yellow car just cause. And um, I wanted it, I don't know, I don't want it yellow. And before, before like, Kobe died, to be honest. I wanted a yellow for Kobe, and then he died, and then it made me want yellow more. I don't know. Kobe was like more of like a figure. Like when I was when I was a kid, he was like a, the god to my family. I mean, I mean not like to my. <clears throat> but what? Whatever, dude. I'm fucking buzz. <laughs> but I wanted. I wanted yellow because I wanted to brighten my, my life up a little bit more for this year. And obviously it's not kind of bright. This year is kind of going down the street or going down the drain. <laughs> because yeah, 2020 is pretty rough. Um, but anyways, moving on. I just wanted it yellow. And to be honest, I miss my black sedan, but yellow, that's what I got. Next is Lil Dim Sum. That's home, bro. Are you Australian? Because you meet all my qual qualifications you hilarious I got it <laughs> this is a question of pickup lines girl <laughs> I hate you Tiff all right next question is 36j 5c's car me after this quarantine hell yeah uh, one of my so apparently my my boy is actually setting up shop again he is um, he is right now mobile but I think he's he's opening and closing shop every now and then so um, head to their Instagram. I'm gonna put it up here, or put it right here, so right here. But um, yeah, he's doing fine. Um, they actually move spots, uh, so he's not at that location, the same location where we always have our icy boys meet. Um, he changed, so I don't know exactly what's going on because I have to talk to him. But um, we're definitely gonna do another icy boys car meet because the vibes were on point. How did you achieve that much camber up front car goals? From Lil, Lil underscore Vicente underscore. Um, so in the front, I have the JZX arms, and then I have uh, lower extended control arms. So and then GS uh, outer tie rods. Yeah, and and then natural camber. That's it. I don't know. <laughs> Next on the list is J Sun underscore E ninety hosting me down in. The 626 LA area, bro. Definitely, I will definitely host another meet somewhere outside of Riverside slash Corona Eastville because I want to meet my other supporters. And yeah, because it's cool to have, because I, I want, I love seeing supporters come up to us and say what's up, even though we don't know you guys, but we, we see each other. <sighs> I gotta take this call. 
Sorry. Um, yeah, I had to take that call. Fuck. It's hot. It's getting hot. I got this beanie on too. Fuck. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the supporters. The yeah, I would definitely uh, host a meet somewhere else. Probably I've always wanted to do a beach cruise, but that never happened. But soon because that that shit, it, I love just seeing supporters from everywhere. And thank you guys for all the support and love. I really do appreciate it. Next person is what the fuck? Where am I? Basic Forester asked another question. Um. Pet peeves, um, pet peeves, pet peeves. I have a lot. Um, to be honest, I like I don't I don't know like how you guys like really interpret uh, pet peeves. I would say things that bother me. Um, things that bother me the most is when people can't use uh, use the right there, they are there. You know that that bothers me or your or like well y o u r or y o u r e. Like, if they don't know how to use that, I, it pisses me off. I always wanted to correct them, but I'm not, I'm not trying to be a dig. Next person is SYS Lando, Sis Lando. Do you have a welded diff? No, I don't. I have a LSD. Actually, most of the homies have LSD. Except for Gus. I think he has a welded diff. I don't know. I'm not sure. He also asked, how's drifting? Um, haven't been drifting since the last event where... Last event. Or last event. Uh, yeah, yeah, last event. I think it was the, the buddies uh, event. I have it somewhere here. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put up the link once I'm more sober. <laughs> oh, he also asked another question. How was the paint from Ricky? The Rick, the paint, the Ricky paint. The paint from Ricky was actually super good. Um, my kit was already destroyed, so it still wasn't that. It wasn't great because my 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 kit was actually. <clears throat> Not like perfect. There are a fuckload of cracks. Ow! Magic City Garage. When are you coming back to Portland? I was supposed to come back. The camera is cool. I was supposed to go back to Portland in uh, April. No, like straight the fuck up. Um, I was supposed to visit uh, the homie uh, Matt and uh, my cousins. So yeah, I was supposed to go in April to visit you guys again. And this fucking quarantine got me fucked up, so I am trying to go back like soon because I love Portland. Portland is fucking awesome, to be honest. I have no words, but it's super fun, super cool, and it's like trees are everywhere, bro. It's not like Cali. <laughs> oh god. But anyways, and I'm going to the next questions. I'm sorry, guys. I'm pretty fucking buzzed. Sweating up a fucking sweating out of my assholes right now. What? <laughs> All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. Robert with two T's and underscore. Do you have any future ideas for the channel? And how is the body kit coming along? So my body kit, my my kit for the sedan is actually coming in. I actually bought it from the Russian dudes. If you guys know who they are, but um, it's supposed to come in this month or next month. Um, it's already been two, three weeks. And it's coming in, so I will be recording that to you guys. Do I have any future ideas for the channel? Hopefully, if this channel gets bigger, I don't have to fucking work at my job again. <laughs> but any future ideas, I just I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. And if you guys like what I do, you guys will like what I do, you know. And I'll just keep moving on. <laughs> Second question: Dylan's underscore day underscore off. Dylan's day, day off, that's pretty cool. You on here? How do I get into the Icy Boys crew? <laughs> um, I can't really answer that for you, bro. Um, I'm pretty sure you Alright, sorry, my camera is fucking up right now, but... Anyways, next question is Oscar0423. Should, should do a how to take off a catalyst, catalyst converter on the Lexus, bro, on YouTube. Yeah, I definitely will when I ever, when I change it, or change my Wi-Fi or whatever. Uh, next person is Crisco underscore IS300. You should definitely make IS300 IS300 sedan slash wagon shirts. Do you have a thought of a, a collab? I always wanted to do IS300, or like the IS wagon or sedan um, shirts, 
but it's just that we have to design it and honestly my designs aren't that great and I have a buddy that does it but he is super always super busy uh, maybe in the future but do I have any collabs anybody that wants to collab with us definitely um, probably the homie with uh, my homie Matt uh, Magic City Garage if you guys are in Portland head to, head over to their shop they will take care of you um, next person is Sussman Sussman that's funny Sus M A six how many girlfriends lost due to the IS gang? Icy boys. Underscore Icy boys. With a clown face. One. And that's me. <laughs> Dead ass. I, I'm, I'm serious. Anyways, guys, those are all the questions that you guys asked me. I'm pretty sure I could. Honestly, I could check right now. I'm pretty fucked up. But, anyways, guys, I will be doing this again because this was pretty fun and I'm pretty buzzed off the two smear offs. Fucking lightweight, bro. I used to drink and I, I can't do it anymore. That like, I'm sweating my balls off, like, for real. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you guys are interested in the hoodies I showed you earlier, please DM the Icy Boys right now, or whenever you guys get to see this message. Um, DM them, or DM them, DM, <laughs> DM us, and let us know if you are interested. Um, we also have the stickers in stock that I showed you earlier, which were the video. Um, just let us know and um, we'll get back to you like right away because we ain't got shit to do to be honest But anyways guys, thanks for coming back to the channel and thanks for supporting us Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll be back with another video and um, Next time I'm gonna bring another friend to drink with me because this is kind of sad I'm drinking alone to a camera and my dog is staring at me <laughs> Deuces